what's good youtube it's adam from i'm a music mogul and welcome to another video today i'm going to show you what is quite possibly the easiest way to master your tracks it's a question i get a lot they ask how do you master your tracks what do you do how do you go about it well with ozone 9 isotopes latest release for ozone it's literally going to change the game and makes mastering so much easier and you're going to see why in a moment so without any further ado we're going to go ahead today and master a type beat we put out a couple of weeks ago it's an nf type beat if you haven't heard it here's a quick preview And let's go ahead and open up Ozone 9 and I'm going to show you what this has to offer. Like I said, makes mastering so much easier. All you got to do is hit this button right over here and you are good to go, but we won't do that just yet. I want to take you through all of the modules and processing units that Ozone 9 comes with. Uh, it is a mastering plugin, so you get all the usual suspects like Dynamics, EQs, Imager. New in Ozone 9 is Low End Focus. Now, what this is, is essentially in the title itself. Let's say you want to bring out an 808, make it nice, fat, a little bit warmer. You're going to set your low end focus to smooth. You're going to find where you want to sort of zone in on that 808 sound, bring in some contrast, bring in some gain, and then that's just going to pull out that 808. And we'll do that in a moment on this track over here. Uh, also, what's new in this Ozone 9 update is master rebalance now this this module alone is probably going to change the game for a lot of you out there a lot of time you're mastering your own stuff but sometimes you get tracks from your friends from other people you're mastering for other people and they just send you a two track wave file now this is where master rebalance will come into play sometimes you don't have the stems and you can't control the volume on say your vocals your bass or drums whatever it may be but with Master Rebalance, you just have a two track audio file like this over here. You can literally change the dynamics on how your vocals sit in the mix. For example, you could pull that up in the mix, pull it down in the mix. You could set your bass to be a little bit more boomy, a little bit more bassy, give it some more warmth. Or if you want your drums to be more punchier, more prominent, you can also bring that up. Or if it's too loud and in your face, like a lot of people push their drums too loud, you can pull that back a little bit. Now all this is can be done within a two track audio file. You don't need the stems and that just makes mastering so much easier and you don't have to request more files from the people you're trying to master the track for. That's master rebalance in a nutshell. We'll get to that in a moment as well. We have match EQ where you can sort of capture a frequency response from one of your favorite tracks and then apply it to the current track that you're mastering. This is a great way to tonally get your song to sound similar to let's say a favorite track that you may have some track that you think sounds amazing you can kind of track to see how the frequency response is on that track and then match it to your own track that's with match eq right here and um, then you got some vintage compression eq limiters tapes all the usual suspects in mastering but the start of the show is this master assistant right here and uh, I know a lot of you guys just want to get your tracks mastered and pushed out to Spotify. And this is going to get you there a lot faster. So let's go ahead and master this track over here. We're going to go ahead and select Master Assistant. And it's going to take you through a couple different processes so that you are ready to go. First thing is first, you want to select if you want more of a modern sound or do you want a vintage sound. Now, NF likes vintage type sounds, but I feel like this track is a little bit more modern. So we're going to go ahead with a more modern type of vibe. Uh, for loudness, we're going to go ahead and uh, select an intensity of, let's do it super high because everybody just wants something loud and in your face. And uh, for the destination, we're going to choose streaming. You can actually choose now where your song is going to go to, streaming, CD. Uh, the platform where we're going to is streaming sources. So we're going to select streaming and uh, we're going to go ahead and click next. Before we hit next, you can also bring in a reference track uh, in case that you wanted to sort of match a loudness and sort of EQ frequency response of a track. You could do that right over here and get the sound close to that. Now, this would make sense if you're creating a whole album and you want all the songs to tonally sound similar. This would be where you'd want to use reference 
or just to kind of get your track to sound like your favorite track, that would help as well. But for now, we're gonna go to manual, set the intensity to high, click next, and we're gonna play our track at the loudest volume, which is this right here, as we can visually see. And we're gonna let us do its thing. So let's just focus in on this chorus part right over here. This is what uh, Ozo 9's mastering did to it. This is it all. And then we're going to bring in the mastering. So off the bat, it brought our track up nice and, and made it more fuller, nice and loud and uh, ready for streaming services. But before we do that, I just want to go ahead and just bring out a little bit more of the bass. I feel like we're lacking some bass here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in a new module and we're going to go to low end focus. So I'm going to solo this out here. I'm going to try and find where the kick is. So it's somewhere around there. I want the top end of the kick. And we're going to make it a little bit more punchy. So I'm going to bring in the contrast and I'm going to pull up the gain a little bit as well. Just brings that up a little bit next it's going to bring in another module and we're going to go to my favorite piece of ozone 9 which is master rebalance and uh, we're going to pull this before the maximizer as well and i'm going to bring up my bass because i want more bass in this track as i said earlier we already pulled up our kick a little bit now let's pull in some more bass You had vocals on this track you kind of go ahead and pull out the vocals if you wanted to there sometimes you need the vocals to be a little bit louder so you could do that there with some focus on the vocals but in this case i felt like my drums were good i just wanted to pull out my bass a little bit another cool thing in ozo 9 if you go ahead and click codec over here and select this over here you go ahead and preview the how your track will sound at different bit rates on either an AAC format file or an MP3 file. So if we go to MP3 and 96 kbps, this is what your song is gonna sound like. Of course, it's gonna lose some quality because it's 96. You could hear the artifacts that's happening there. Pretty cool if you want to see how your song would sound across different um, sort of bandwidth, bandwidth rates. So if sometimes Spotify will sort of limit your track and now you can hear how it sounds at certain um, uh, bit rates. So I think that's pretty much our track right there, mastered and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and bypass the what it sounded like at the start, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring in what it sounds like at the end. So 
So that right there is just a quick overview of Ozone 9 and how quick it is to get masters using the master assistant. If you just want to get your tracks out to the streaming platforms and you don't really want to pay for someone to master your tracks, get Ozone 9, it will pay back for itself. Just use the master assistant, it will make your song sound nice and loud and ready for all the streaming platforms, all the stuff that you want from mastering. If you do want to learn more about Isotope's Ozone 9, I will place a link in the description box below this video. This video is not sponsored, Ozone did give me a copy of Ozone 9 to try out. The way I look at things is if it streamlines my process, makes my any step of the process faster and sound good at the same time then hits a A plus in my book and Ozone 9 just does that makes your mastering easy just use the master assistant which I've been using for the past couple of days maybe a week or so since I got the plugin and um, it just makes mastering a whole lot easier and I'm not gonna lie guys speed is everything time is everything and this just makes things a lot easier and like I said the master rebalance if you don't have all the stems and just have the uh, two track master file whole lot game changer check it out oza9 link in the description box below this video that's it for me guys if you do want to chat about this want to talk anything about mastering we can go ahead and chat in the comment section below and if you did like this video remember thumbs up share it and of course hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this one i'll talk to y'all soon later Peace.